Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use notes on your Cubase tracks and explain why you might want to use them. So on this track, for example, I have a bunch of guitars and bass that I've tracked with a camper, but I've committed to the camper sound on the way in, as well as committing through the UAD Thermionic Culture Vulture. So what I used to do was put the name of the camper profile as the track name, but a lot of the time it's not that informative to have that there. And you kind of want a bit more information. So in this case, got the name of the profile from the camper and then the preset that I've used that I hate my parents preset on the Thermionic Culture Vulture. It's a great preset. Just sounds insane. Then on each different track, same thing. So I've got the name of the guitar. So if I want to record more riffs with this particular sound, I know what guitar I used. I know what pickup position I had it in. I know what camper profile I used. I know what preset I used. So that means I can recall all that if needed. Same with this one. So I've committed through the camper, committed through the UAD culture vulture, and then bridge pickup on that one, neck pickup on that one. This one is the bass. So the culture vulture fatter two preset, and then WD metal bass drive committed through on the camper. So when you create a new track, if I create a new audio track here, The notepad is on it, but it won't necessarily always be there. So if you find that it's not there, if you right click on inserts or really anywhere on any of these, you can just add in the notepad and expand it. And then you just click on it, type in your notes and then click away from it and it'll save those notes along with your track. So it's a really handy thing, especially if you're committing through various effects. You can write down the settings or what guitar you used or what amp you used, what microphones even. So there's a lot of useful information you can record there, which can definitely help if you, say, start on a project like this one. For example, I've got a bunch of different sections already recorded. I started recording it the other day just for fun when I got the Thermionic Culture Vulture. I'm going to do a review on that soon. But if I go to something else that's more of a priority, start working on that then at some point i click on this and wonder what buzzsaw is and i hear it and i'm like oh that was cool i'll add some more tracks to that having the track notes there allows me to basically recreate these sounds exactly so i know exactly what the preset was that i used what the camper profile was and then i can just get that exact sound again and continue it same with this guitar this guitar and the bass so there, there'll be a consistency there and i can just recall all of that so yeah, I would highly recommend people get into the habit of doing stuff like this on the tracks because it'll it'll just make life so much easier, particularly if you're juggling a different amount of projects and you want to be able to revisit stuff and know what you used. The more notes and the more detailed that you can be, I think, the better. So hopefully people find that helpful. Cheers.